make up Climax Studios. They you use sexy kitten nights. Did you just restart doing it, didn't you? What? Call them kitten nights. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I kind of forgot about it for a while. And, like, you know when you forget about something and it just kind of, like, happens and you just forget about it and then you do it again. You, you promise yourself you're going to, like, keep doing that. But you end up doing it for, like, a two weeks and then you stop doing it again. No, you've never stopped No, I'm not it. talking about, like, that like, specifically. This, this but, would like, be your... Like, okay, if you're, like... Let me guess. Leave suddenly, your phone alone? Yes, don't fucking touch your phone. No. Okay, and so, uh... No, it's like if you work out for like two months and then you stop working out for a week and then you're like, oh, fuck yeah, I forgot, I work out. Uh, and then like you keep working out for like two weeks and then you eventually forget and you just stop working out entirely. Yeah, except we haven't, we, so we're in that stage of like re, restarting like, the kid night thing. So, so in other words, we're going to stop in, about, in a couple videos. In about three videos, don't expect to be called kid nights off the start, I'm going to forget. But uh, yeah, uh, today, today, I have... Tons of stories for you. I'm pretty sure Dan would have a couple from baseball differentials too. Maybe no. No, I'm just pissed. He off has no DMs. stories. I'm just pissed me off. The kids were like leaning into my pitches and I don't know what that called. means. Okay, I'm pitching and then they're like up the bat and then they lean in and then they get hit. And that they're oh, so they got a free walk. Yeah, and they were, they're cheating. And I wasn't calling. Are them. you sure you weren't just throwing it at them? No, I was. So then, you know what I would have done to fuck them up then? If they were leaning into my I was going to fight the kid if I was going to... I wouldn't... No, f don't fight him. You throw a fucking baseball at his dome. No. He, they, or his that, dick. They have, a, they have a helmet and a cup. It still hurt. 80 whatever miles an hour coming at your dick. It doesn't matter if there's a fucking piece of plastic in the way. I'm just saying. It still would, hurt a lot. Besides, it probably couldn't throw it at his dick if he's standing sideways. I'm pretty sure he's not going to jump in front of me. <laughs> I'm just saying, whatever. Okay, so uh, That's my, my weekend significantly more exciting than Dan's. Uh, we went to uh, it was my buddy's 18th birthday about two days ago, three days ago. Fuck, I forget. Who's Tyler's? Really? Yeah. Didn't know that. Dan, you were in baseball. Facebook didn't remind you. I That's know. like the only way you can remember people's birthdays now. But no, uh, so it was his 18th <clears throat> birthday. So me and him kind of like. Decided that we we're gonna get blank white shirts and tell people we we're fraternal twins, and that was our, our our 19th birthday there. Because like the drinking age in our province, or for the U.S. people's equivalent of a state, uh, it's 19 here, so we're we turned 18, right? And so we needed to go to the next province over where the drinking age is 18 and not 19. I'm pretty sure I fucked that up really bad. But <laughs> either way, you had to go. You had to go province across over. the province, so we're legal. But then we decided, hey, you know what? No one wants to fucking dance with 18-year-olds, so we're going to tell everyone we're 19. Sure. So we go around, we get, we're get we getting people's fucking signatures and all this shit. We're in, like, a really, like, nice, like, club. Uh, but you guys just went to Edmonton just, like... Just for just... no fucking reason. I spent $200 yesterday. It was the worst. One fucking night. You guys did, night. like, an overnight trip to Edmonton. Just... Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was 200 fucking dollars. Terrible. Hardcore. Ew. What the fuck is that? a bug but uh yeah so we're, we're in this fucking club and we're getting all we're getting all these bitches sign our shirt right we're like oh my god we're pretending to be way more drunk than we are like we're we're pretty fucking totaled and zombied but we're pretending to be like 100 percent zombie like you need to fucking stab my brain to kill me but uh okay so we're like walking around and i get this one chick you guys both uh, have girlfriends yeah, but it doesn't matter. You can dance when you have girlfriends, especially yeah, when know, just especially when they're like in a different fucking continent entirely. It's a province over. It's like five hundred kilometers. No, no, no. Haley's in England and Megan's in fucking Spain right now. Or that. Yeah. So, uh, no. Okay. But it'd be okay if they did something. Oh no, that's it's, fucking. It's five hundred. That's problems. Like thousands from your own home. They're thousands from their home, so they can, according to your logic, then. Girls are different. <laughs> okay, no, so yeah, I got this one chick to sign my fucking shirt, and she signed Tyler's shirt, she said, I want your cock, I'm not kidding you, she put that on his shirt, and then on mine, she's like, you have cute dimples, which I, I was very complimented <laughs> by, I was like, okay, but then her fucking big boyfriend, like, okay, I don't know if any of you watch Jersey Shore, but Ronnie from Jersey Shore, if you don't know that, just type in Ronnie Jersey Shore in Google Images, fucking find that out. Oh my fucking god, he was about that big, comes right up to me, fucking grabs me, Tyler had already fucking peaced out, he was on to the next the set of girls trying to get theirs, he's way across the fucking bar, I'm standing there, he grabs me, he's like, were you just fucking hitting on my girlfriend, buddy? I'm like, dude, dude, it's my birthday, and then someone fucking tackles him, he's like, don't fucking touch the kid, and he tackles this guy, security <laughs> comes in, I'm like, just standing there, I'm fucking so scared, cause like, I don't, I don't know, like, 
I know as scrawny as I used to be. I'm like six one, like a hundred and like seventy five pounds. So like I'm not like huge or anything. So like. I was fucking shitting my pants. I then go run to Tyler. I'm like, dude, I was just got fucking my ass kicked. It was the worst. Just the fucking worst. I've never been so scared in my life besides when that guy pulled a knife on Olivia. What? At the grab party. Oh, yeah. That was bad. That, that made me shit my pants. Because, like, a knife, you just can't, like, come back. Like, oh, it's just a knife. But, like, to actually just think about getting stabbed, that would suck. Yeah. I think the only thing that sucked worse is getting, like, branded. Brand. Like with a cow. Yeah, yeah no, I, I got it. I know what branding is. Drowning would suck too. No, brand because I'm not talking about dying. I'm <laughs> no, just talking I'm just about saying. severe pain. Fine, almost dying from but drowning. But then the coolest fucking part of the entire trip, okay, like we were like smashing champagne bottles. I ate a double down and then we had like 10 beer in four hours. I thought hours. you promised yourself you'd never eat a double down again. I said that and then I saw it again and I had to do it. So I ate a double down and then 10 beer and then... I, yeah, I puked in a bar, and it, it was a really oh. pretty girl who was bartending. I felt really bad. Show some class. And then I puked again on a main street. But anyways, okay. So the best part of the night was it was about, like, 1 in the morning in the club. We're all fucking good time dancing, all that fun stuff, right? All of a sudden, this fucking black guy comes on Wait, stage. Wait, is Dylan 18? Yeah. Okay. So all of a sudden, this black guy comes on stage, and I'm like, what the fuck? Who's this guy? I look closer. It's the fucking Old Spice guy. Like, you know the black Old Spice guy? Yeah, he was in the fucking club. I didn't think it was legit until, like, the club owner comes up. He's like, yeah, guys, show some love for the Old Spice guy. Which would really suck to be categorized like that for your whole life. Be like, hey, yeah, I'm the Old Spice guy. You know what, what? I'm saying? No, I don't... Yeah, for his whole life, that's how he's going to be known. He, he doesn't have a first name anymore. Yeah, so? But no, yeah, so... You're the Old Spice guy. Why would you need that... a first name? We have fucking pictures with the Old Spice guy. We are on... The next level when it comes to fanboyism right now. No, you say you have pictures, but I still haven't seen these. Yeah, because we... Okay, they didn't let you take pictures of him, so it's going to be on the websites. Oh. Oil something, the web, the bar is called, but a uh, club or whatever it's fucking called. And then, the funniest part, so we're getting people to sign our shirts, right? I walk up to this fucking, like, Chinese group. I'm thinking, okay, yeah, they like, they're in a club. They can obviously speak perfect English. No, nothing of the sort. So I, like, talk to them, and I kind of, like, do Sharpie. I'm like, you, right. And she fucking does Chinese symbols all across <laughs> my shirt. And I, I asked her, because, uh, like, the guy could speak English. I'm like, hey, what's that say? He just laughs at me and, like, looks away. I'm like, fuck you and fuck Gundam Wing and fuck Transformers. Fuck what? 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 Fuck Gundam Wing? You never heard of Gundam Wing? Gundam? Gundam. Gundam. You never heard of that? No. It's basically like Transformers except with like lightsabers. That's basically the only way I can describe it. And like the whole cartoon is basically like noise. It's like, sing! I'm taking a wild guess and saying this is a Chinese or Asian thing. Japanese. I think it's Japanese. Fuck some guys would be like, no, it's North Korean, you dipshit. No, uh, but no, uh, it's awesome. It's like Transformers except cooler. And like their jetpacks always make circles. Like, the oh, explosions yeah, like, are, like, circles. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. pretty fucking dope. Okay. Probably my only... The only cartoon that beats that in my mind, besides Pokemon, because Pokemon's awesome all the time. Sure. Is probably, uh... Dragon Ball Z. Oh, my God. I love it so much. You and Tower. Love Just it. big dicks for Dragon Ball Z. What cartoons do you like? I like, I like Harold. 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 The fuck's Harold? The guy with the football head. Sure. Actually, you've never heard of that? No. I mean, you probably like Cat Dog. That. Basically, your life in a cartoon. My life. What is cat dog? It's about a cat and a dog that are like sewn to each other, and there's a cat on one end and there's a dog on the other end. That's messed up. I know. It's kind of like had like transgender undertones to it. Bone down. I guess we're done the commentary, anyways, now that I look at the bar. So. I got, I got really mad. Adios, amigos. What? Stay lusty, my friends. What'd you say? I said adios, amigos. Oh, I heard peace. Something.